I know that I missed my last week upload because I was like mad freaking busy. So I tried to put myself into a crazy schedule last week and I was so sick too. I got a cold. Um, I tried to recover from my cold. But here I am right here in front of you guys I'm gonna do my sneaker review uh, A new pair of shoes that I got from Nike is the Air Max Pre-Day So this is actually my first pair of Air Max Pre-Day um, I think the first release was I think last month um, The colorway was uh, kind of like a green color Those shoes when it just came out it sold out So I didn't really have a chance to do that uh, shoes, but I got these shoes. This colorway is white and gray. I'm not really a big fan of white shoes, as you guys already know from my other videos that I mentioned this a lot, right? I'm not a fan of the white shoes. Um, black shoes, I have ton of the black shoes, but these shoes, I think it's the some interesting detail here and there and the designs. So let's get closer look into the shoes and. I'm gonna show you how I style them after the review closer look on this pair of Air Max Pre-Day. This is the closer look on the Air Max Pre-Day. Uh, to me, I think this Air Max is modern, you know, especially when uh, you see this um, crave, um, how this recent couple collaboration from the William Alex um, collaboration with Nike they have this kind of sculpture you know like a sculpture in the Air Max technology or the running shoes um, from the I don't know I think it's the, one of the running shoes but I will drop the image of that running shoes here on this video the upper to me is you can see they took a lot of inspiration from the different pair of Air Max you know like the the van area the mug guard is um, the inspiration that they took it from the Air Max 95 and um, also the waffle also is from the Air Max 90 um, but let's talk about the material combination that they use on this upper I really like it um, every single detail is for its purpose Especially um, when I put them on on this uh, shoes, I feel like this is reinforcement piece right here that they use for this upper. It's pretty nicely done, like exactly where my wider feet. Um, usually, I stretch a lot when I put my shoes on. Stretch a lot on this area, so this panel right here is help me to like reinforce that area you know and i think is um the material that they use is feel like more like a canvas than uh <laughs> the 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 mesh or the knit material this feel like more like a canvas for sure and you know like the entire upper on this material on these shoes is synthetic none of these are leather so that's why the price point is not that expensive um, but to me, I think it's it's a little bit expensive. Like I think I bought it's like one thirty. The first thing I see is like of course, is um, the midsole where the outsole technology where the Air Air Max technology from Nike is. But um, my second thought about the iconic on these shoes is the eye stay. And uh, the logo, how they are kind of cover slightly on the Nike logo a little bit, and different panel, like very minimalist. Uh, I feel like this is not like crazy like the Air Max uh, ninety five, <laughs> um, but it still give the inspiration. You can see is more like influence from those Air Max ninety five, ninety, and some other Air Max too. I bet. But to me, like that's what I see is right away, is the Air Max ninety five and and the Air Max ninety. Um, I love the eye stay on this. Um, even though they don't stitch it down entirely, um, but I love how you see uh the zigzag stitch, like, between every single, um eyelid, you know. Um, that's just like I wish it's 
they make it like a color pop on the ice day so it's even it's pop even more on this zigzag stitch man the top down view is not that bad i see a couple circle uh, detail like it's like on um the vam area you see the stitching the round st stitching around there and the circle that in the tongue like that's that tongue um and also in the back so the tongue is like i i like how they play around with the color like color pop on the tongue it's like a golden yellow on this so make it more like interesting to look at then it's just maybe you go for it's just like like a tonal colorways on this upper you know um nike is a they done they have the best of the best of the color combo on the sneaker design like i don't know how to do it they spend a probably they spend a lot of time on it um i love a lot of crazy colorways that nike done you know like they done pretty interesting color blockings too um shout out to those like color material designer out there that doing the work <laughs> and um this um the go-to and you see like they use the like a classic nike logo like hot melt nike logo from in the like the tongue pole and um the heel pole area like if the embodies nike logo there but i don't really like this uh heel pull that much i prefer the vertical heel pull than this horizontal heel pull i don't know i just feel like uh, um when i put on um the shoes i don't feel like this is like helping me um slip my heel on the shoes than uh, the vertical one the insole is not really interesting it's just a regular like mesh material that you see often on the nike shoes but the graphic on the nike looks fun though like the air with the swoosh is look is look fun to me um look like they really enjoy doing this graphic or something <laughs> and also like the tongue material the inside is nice like the pop like that like something a little bit like that is make me like appreciate the thought the thought uh into the shoes especially from the inside out um i like this material it look cool and it's breathable too if you see like they have breathable and also have cushioning on this tongue the material due density that they use on this is not really comfortable i don't know i think it's decent it's just a regular nothing really interesting on this um material that they use on um this pre-day mx pre-day um and also look at the also is meh i just feel like the also is so basic not really thoughtful when they design this also except this air logo here i think um this is more like a waffle logo i mean the the, the waffle pattern this shoes is i think it's just for regular people to wear like every day like go to work you know um nothing really like into the fashion that much but up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i style this bad boy right here
um, would you like uh, to buy a pair of MX pre-day and what you think about my style I create those three look if you like one of the looks on this video comment below in the comment section and I will see you soon on the next video I'm out